Guys, what's up? Alex Grenaps here. Um, <clears throat> just wanted to show you guys how to make an iPhone app icon for your iPhone app using GIMP, a free program. You could go download it right now. Basically, a really simple version of Photoshop. You could do the same thing in Photoshop, just apply the same details. Um, so, if you want me to make a tutorial, just go to my um, <clears throat> my channel, Alex Grenaps, and you can submit a suggestion or an idea or a comment that you want me to do and I'll make that tutorial as soon as possible and you can vote on them the ones that are highest voted on I will make so the one I'm making today is can you make a tutorial showing how to make an iPhone icon using GIMP so that's what I'm going to do so go ahead load up GIMP file new and size your icon 512 by 512 and they may say big but you're gonna have to make a big and small version I'll tell you later so make that comfortable you know as big as you want but make sure it's 512 by 512 I mean, at the screen proportion as big as you want so I'm gonna start out here really quick just make it really basic be creative you know do whatever you want but I'm going to uh, choose two, to two colors here a dark gray and a light gray and I'm gonna select the blend tool and that's going to make a gradient for me. So just go ahead and drag across the screen. That's how you do it. Wherever you drag, it's going to change the look. So I like the I like that look. So you see, it's a, a gradient across the screen. Variations of different colors that blended between these two colors I chose. Choose whatever colors you want. Uh, I suggest using something close together, like two different shades of a color, like blue or red or gray, for example. If you do like red and green, it's going to look really really messed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the color over here for the text to white. And I'm going to just put an A here. Um, so put an A there. I'm going to change the uh, font to sans fay let. Make a pretty good, pretty big A. And you know, that looks nice. I like it. So I'm going to go with that. So file, save as and you're gonna go to, uh, I'll put it in my desktop and I'm gonna name it, you know, sample sample, wow oops sample and make sure you have to, you have to do this right sample or whatever you name it, dot png it has to be dot png or else it will not work so there you go, export, save and you're done in GIMP quit and you have this over here wherever you put it bring it to your desktop and before you do anything go ahead and double click and go to tools adjust size and change it from 512 to 512 to 57 by 57 so okay and you're gonna save as make sure you don't save but save as and do it like sample small and make sure that's not PNG too so now you should have two files, sample and sample small. So sample is 512 by 512, sample small is 57 by 57, and we're going to go ahead and launch Xcode. Choose the project you made that you're making this iPhone app icon for. I'm just going to make a new one, for example. Um, and, oh right, okay. So in our project we're going to go ahead and drag the smaller file into resources copy items and add so it's now here we can use what do whatever we want with it but what we're going to do is go into sample dash info dot plist or wherever you named it dot plist and go to the icon file and we're going to name that next to icon file I'm going to name it sample dot png name it whatever you named it the uh, the the icon so make sure it's the exact same thing click enter and uh, don't worry about this stuff so go ahead build and run save all and I have it on the simulator so I should could show you guys do the same thing if you did it on your actual device and here we go uh, that's the one from before but we have it here sample looks really nice actually and any more tutorial requests you have, just tell me, comments down below, or in moderator on my channel. Um, but if you want me to do a specific tutorial, such as um, 
what you would what you need this uh, big icon for is actually to submit your i your iTunes application your iPhone application to go into iTunes. You're going to need that file uh, that will actually display in iTunes um, when you look at an application in iTunes. That's going to be what displays. So thanks guys for watching. Remember to go check out my channel. So uh, follow me on Twitter, Alex Green Apps, uh, and go ahead and download my new newest application in the App Store called the Doofus Test. It's really cool. Fifty questions, it's like the Impossible Quiz, but better. So what that five twelve by five twelve icon would be over here. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Peace.